Clement Graham Crowden, November 30, 1922 to October 19, 2010, was a Scottish actor. He was best known for his many appearances in television comedy dramas and films, often playing eccentric offbeat scientist, teacher, and doctor characters. Graham Crowden was born in Edinburgh, the son of University of Edinburgh-educated schoolmaster Harry Graham Crowden, died in 1938, and Anne Margaret, Maid Patterson. He was educated at Clifton Hall School and the Edinburgh Academy before serving briefly in the Royal Scots Youth Battalion of the Army until he was injured in an accident. During arms drill he was shot by his platoon sergeant when the sergeant's rifle discharged. The sergeant reportedly inquired what is it now, Crowden, to which Crowden replied I think you've shot me, sergeant. He later found work in a tannery. Crowden had a long theatrical career most notably at Laurence Olivier's National Theatre where he performed as the player King in Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are Dead, the play by Tom Stoppard. He occasionally played mad scientists in film, taking the role of Dr. Miller in the Mick Travis films of director Lindsay Anderson, Oh Lucky Man, 1973, and Britannia Hospital, 1982, and also playing the sinister Dr. Smiles in the film of Michael Murdoch's first Jerry Cornelius novel, The Final Program, 1973. He also played the eccentric history master in Anderson's If. 1968, in 1970, he appeared in the popular Thames television series Callan as the Groper, and a registered doctor, who had been in Wormwood Scrubs called on by Callan, when unofficial medical assistance was required, e.g. series 3, The Village Called G and likely others between 1967 to 73 though some are now lost. In 1975, he made an appearance in No Way Out an episode of the British sitcom Porridge alongside Ronnie Barker, Brian Wilde, Richard Beckinsale, and Fulton McKay, as the prison doctor when Fletcher was complaining of an injured leg. He was offered the role of the fourth doctor in Doctor Who in 1974, when John Pertwee left the role but turned it down, informing producer Barry Lutz that he was not prepared to commit himself to the series for three years. The role ultimately went to Tom Baker. He appeared in The Horns of Neiman, 1979, as a villain opposite Baker. This was the reason why Ian Martyr was originally hired, as the producers and directors considered Crowden too old to be seen running about and taking on a larger physical role. A regular role was in the BBC comedy drama A Very Peculiar Practice, 1986-88, as the alcoholic Jock McCannon. In 1990, he appeared as a lecherous peer in the BBC comedy Don't Wait Up and in 1991 he played a modest role in the Rumpole of the Bailey episode Rumpole and the Quacks, portraying Sir Hector McAuliffe, the head of a medical inquest into the potential sexual misconduct on the part of Ghulam Rahimath, portrayed by Saeed Jaffrey. In 1990, he landed the role of Tom Ballard in the sitcom Waiting for God, opposite Stephanie Cole's character Diana Trent, as the two rebellious retirement home residents. The show ran for five years and was a major success. In 1994, Crowden played the part of Professor Pollux in the BBC TV adaptation of the John Hatfield novel Love on a Branch Line. Crowden then voiced the role of Mustron Ricoli in the 1997 animated Cosgrove Hall production of Terry Pratchett's Soul Music. In 2001, he guest starred in the Midsommar Murders episode Ring Out Your Dead and also played the Marquis of Old Reeky in The Way We Live Now. Between 2001 and 2002, he played a role in the BBC Radio 4 comedy series The Leopard in Autumn. In 2003, he made a cameo appearance as a sadistic naval school teacher in The Lost Prince. In 2005-08, he starred in the BBC Radio 4 sci-fi comedy Nebulous as Sir Ronald Rollins. In 2008, he appeared as a guest star in Foyle's War. For many years towards the end of his life, he lived in Mill Hill, London NW7. Crowden died on October 19, 2010 in Edinburgh after a short illness. Crowden is survived by his wife, Phyllida Hewitt, whom he married in 1952, a son and three daughters, one of whom, Sarah followed him into acting.